In iOS 14, SwiftUI's list gains a new initializer to make expanding groups of content. So you have parents with a disclosure indicator that pops down to reveal children inside it. Let's try it out with some code. First, define your data. I'll say I have a bookmark struct that conforms to the identifiable protocol. I'll make sure these things have an ID, which is a UUID each time. I'll say each bookmark has a name string and an icon string. And inside it, for the children, an items array of type bookmark optional. Now be careful here, the type of your struct, in this case bookmark, must be the same type used for its children. So the child and the parent have the same type. Now, you wanna go ahead and pull in your stuff from disk or from JSON, whatever you want to, pull in a load of bookmarks using Codable, presumably. I am not gonna do that here because it's quite distracting. Instead, I have pre-made some example bookmarks down here. I will uncomment. You can see that I have uh, Apple, BBC, Swift, and Twitter as my bookmarks. Uh, and there are some groups here, favorites, recent, and recommended. And in each one I've put the same bookmarks, Apple, BBC, Swift, and Twitter. Just make the code easier to follow along. Okay, now let's go ahead and use that. First things first, you want to, in your content view, give uh, your array a name as a property, where you want to loop over. So I'll say my items, my parent items, is going to be a bookmark array, bookmark array, equal to dot example one, dot example two, uh, and dot example three. So those are my example bookmark groups I made in my hard-coded array below. And now, inside your body, you can make a list of those items, just like before, except now you also say the children of those are dot backslash dot items. And we're pointing to this items property inside our struct. We're saying that's where you'll find the children for each item. And now you provide your regular row function. What code should be run for each row you want to demonstrate? So I'll do image system name of row dot icon and text row dot name like that. And we'll get by default out of the box this kind of disclosure indicator approach here. I'll run the code in a simulator, you can see how it looks for real. You get disclosure indicators out of the box, and when you press them, you'll see it just slides out the children really, really slickly like that. Fantastic.